I remember I was in UK for two months and I did, didn't know that there was a water problem and I came home uh, three, four days ago and my sister told me that she told me don't use the shower, use the, <laughs> uh, use the bucket of water. You know, it's, I've, so many of us are unaware of, of, of situations and can you throw some light on how this has happened and what we can do? The most basic ignorance about rivers is people think river is a, a source of water or a well is a source of water or a pond or a lake is a source of water. In a tropical country, it is not a source of water, it is only a destination for water. There is only one source of water for us which is the monsoon rain. That's the only place from where water is coming. So the, the rain that comes down, which normally happens to us in this country, somewhere between forty-five to sixty days maximum in a year, rain pours down on us. A huge volume of water comes down. When this comes down, our ability to hold it in the soil will determine how many days in a year will the rivers flow. If we hold it, then it flows three hundred sixty-five days. If we do not hold it, it will run away within the next fifty or hundred days and that's why it's going dry right now. So what allows us to hold the water? The only and only thing is vegetation. There is no rocket science to this. This has been my main mission across the world, including United Nations, our government, central government, all the states. We convince them you cannot hold water in a dam, check dam, barrage, all these things. These are all okay for usage, but you cannot really enhance water like this. The only way you can hold it is by vegetation. When I say vegetation or let's say forest, the possibility of increasing the forest cover is impossible in India. We are 1.3 billion people, it's estimated by uh, 2030 we will be 1.5 billion people. So there is too much pressure on the land, there is no way to increase the forest cover. The only other way is to go for agroforestry, that we use forests as a livelihood for ourselves, we grow forests for wealth, we grow forests for economic reasons. So right now, uh, to assist the farmer to shift to agroforestry, there are a few things to happen. One thing is the saplings, large-scale development of saplings. We are looking at in twelve years to plant two hundred and forty-two crore trees, that is two point four two billion trees. If we want to do something so massive, it needs a very organized effort and it needs a certain agility which normally uh, I'm, I'm not trying to criticize anybody, but normally the state governments don't have such an agile machinery to act. So in Tamil Nadu, we have about thirty-two uh, nurseries spread across Tamil Nadu. So we've planted over thirty-five million trees in the last uh, eighteen years, all on our own steam. That is, no government help, no nothing, just as a movement, people's movement. Now this needs to scale up big time, so we, are, we have clear-cut plans how to multiply this. Today there's tissue culture, we have all the technologies, everything, you know, we've assimilated all these things properly. The reason why we are uh, doing many things and including this is without uh, a large-scale people's involvement, this is not going to happen. This is not a single-handed job. This is not just my work or your work or somebody else who is here. This is a generational work. As a generation of people, we have taken the largest bite out of this planet. Never before another generation has consumed as much as we have. So, I'm just thinking, before I fall dead, let's fix it to whatever extent we can so that uh, future generations don't look back and see we were the most irresponsible generation ever. In a way we are, unfortunately. Because uh, the way I saw Kaviri fifty years ago, or let's put it this way, the way the previous generations gave Kaviri to us and how it is today, if we hand it over like this, this means we are a disastrous generation. 
So I want to see that we are not a disastrous generation, we will fix it to whatever extent we can. Nobody should say, we have not done what we should have done. Because in our lives, if we do not do what we cannot do, there is no problem. But if we do not do what we can do, we are a disaster. So I don't want to be that disaster, I want to ensure none of these people, the people of this generation are not a disaster, that we will do everything we can do. But the important action that is needed right now is this, that we need to raise seventy-two crore saplings in the next four years. Four years this plantation must happen means in two years we must raise, in four years the plantation must be over. Then only the twelve-year plan that we have, we will go by that. See, at this stage in my life, twelve-year plan is not a good plan. But <laughs> I have taken this, don't make it twenty years, please make it twelve years so that uh, the last part of my life I can golf around a little bit and goof around also a little bit.